Hello guys, this is a video on why basal Eurasians and ancestral North Africans are mythical ghost populations which never existed. Uh, the data is from Eurogene's K46 calculator, LM Genetics K47 calculator, using Simple Admix 2023 developed by me. So the origin of this pervasive myth. David Reich was sitting in his Harvard lab one day and decided that the apparent differences between Tafaraut, Natufians, and Zuzuana must be explained by the presence of some kind of ghost homo sapien population in the former two, rather than the more obvious answer, which is simply that they have sub-Saharan African admixture, or an even cooler explanation which I came up with on my own, of the presence of ancestral North Hyperborean admixture in the latter group. So the presence of ancestral North Hyperborean admixture in the Zuzuana. Uh, this video is not about proving my theories of ancestral North Hyperboreans. Uh, I have already made several videos dedicated to that. This video is all about disproving basal Eurasians and ancestral North Africans. So here are the conditions that must be satisfied for the myth of basal Eurasians and ancestral North Africans to be true. In order for the existence of ANA and basal Eurasians to be proven, it must be impossible to model them as a mixture of something Zuzuana related with something African related with low fit. Uh, in order to test this hypothesis, I wanted to try modeling North Africans in QP admixture, but Mr. Reich had made it pretty Im much impossible to find the population SNP files on his website. Uh, I guess he doesn't care much for people replicating his findings, unlike me. Uh, that didn't stop me though, I made my very own version of QP admixture, which is very simple to use and will be linked in the description of this video. My simple admix 2023 tool uses a Euclidean method to compare the allele frequencies in one target population with three source populations and outputs the result in the format of a free coordinate vector that can be used in Wahadoo models. So what about those conditions? Let's get into the, the crux of the video. I modeled various Eurogenes K36 components as a mixture of Basque, Amerindian, and C Central African. Well, guess what? The North African and Arabian components had the lowest fit among all groups, aside from Central Euro and Central East Euro. Uh, this is the model. So you look at the distance. The lowest distance is Arabian and North African. Super low, even lower than Fenoscandian, lower than these European components. In fact, much lower than South Central Asians and Caucasians. So uh, what, can we, what can we see from this? We can see that CHG is a real group that is uh, different and significantly different from Basque, Amerindian, Central African. It's causing a very large, uh, very large fit for people who have a significant CHG admixture. But ant ancestral North African, basal Eurasian, I don't really see it here because Arabians and North Africans have a very low fit comparable to Europeans actually. Uh, so you can see Arabians are modeled as 80% Basque plus 19% Central African. North Africans, 70% Basque, 30% Central African. And with a very good fit. Very good fit, in fact. So compared to, once again, like South Central Asians or North Caucasians who have divergent ancestry from CHG, these people in Arabia and in North Africa have a very good fit. That means they can be successfully modeled as a mixture of Basque and Central African. Let's uh, return to my presentation, right? So if such a thing as ancestral North African ever existed, the North African component would get a fit comparable to Caucasus groups. And same can be said for the Arabian component. But as you can see, compare the fit, North African and Arabian compare it to Caucasus and South Central Asia. Very big difference. Uh, however, these are the groups with the best fit, which is super extreme when you consider the significant WHG and STEP ancestry in the Eurogenes K36 Basque component. So what about those conditions part two? If you thought this is simply a Eurogenes K36 phenomenon, you are wrong. I modeled various components from LM Genetics K47 as a mixture of North Iberian, K47's version of Basque component, Andean, which is K47's version of Amerindian component and Central African hunter-gatherer. Guess what? East Med, North African, and Arabian once again had the lowest fits. Look here. East Med actually has the lowest fit out of all groups, followed by Arabic, followed by East Iberian, followed by North African. And so these are the people who can be modeled with the most precision, most precisely modeled as a mixture of Andean, Central African, and North Iberian. Without any... Uh, 
ANA or basal admixture necessary to to, uh, to explain them. So let's return to my presentation. So they once again had the lowest fits and the highest fits. Look, who has the highest fits? Iranians, North Caucasus, South Caucasus. Once again, the highest fits, the people who have CHG admixture, which is a real component that existed, which we have genomes for. Yes, it causes a higher fit. But uh, Arabs and North Africans have a very low fit. So something tells me this is a pattern I would notice with any calculator. I use pretty much Southern Mediterraneans simply have African admixture. It's that simple. You don't need to invent any hypotheticals. You don't need to invent any basal Eurasians or ancestral North Africans. That's really not necessary. So want to replicate my research? You can download and try my tool. Link to the tool is going to be in the description.